What's up guys, ViaProcTV here, and today we have something really special. This is the B-Brain Lite. I'm actually one of the beta testers, so they gave me permission to go ahead and do a little tutorial video, a little technical video on it. So, this is what it comes in. I already took it out and has the, the actual board itself, and you'll notice right away there is a big capacitor on it. Uh, looks like they are, that is not going to be on the final version. Um, let's see if I can get the camera to focus a little bit. There, that's a little better. But looks like what we have here is we just have one board, it has the receiver, which is it looks like a receiver antenna there, and also has one built in for diversity. And then we also have the VTX and also like the ES, I guess the ESC or whatever you want to call it, MOSFETs for the brushless motors um, on this one board as well. So everything is on this one board, which is really amazing actually. Um, couldn't actually say much more about it except for your camera pretty much just plugs into there your motors plug into it and then you have your battery and then you pretty much have done a built quad so that's what we're going to go ahead and do on the channel as well on the video is just go ahead and build this thing i've never done a really a whoop build on the channel before but let's go ahead and do that so can't really say more about it until i really fly it around and have some more input for newbie drone but let's go ahead and uh build this thing up so First thing I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to put these grommets or grommets onto the little ends here. And they just kind of slide in there like so. They pop in there. Do this side too. There we go. And just pop those all in there. Not too hard. And then we got that all done. So now what we're going to do is these are, these are the screws it comes with to connect it to the cockroach frame. And also have these little rubber bands it comes with as well with the actual uh, B-Brain light that's for the motors. It tucks the uh, wires so it doesn't get caught in the props or whatever. But let's go ahead and find the front of this. And what we go ahead and do is we get a battery. Just like to see how it slides in. And I believe it's going to slide in like so yep so this is going to be the back yeah yep so that's the back okay so this is going to be the back of it that's going to be the front and then how do you know the back and the front on this is the usb and the power plug is going to be on the back so we're going to go ahead and make sure we don't mess up the uh I have to put that through like so. Probably like that. So it gets a good little spot there. Then we're just going to take it and we're going to pop that in there. Just push down on it gently. Just make sure you don't catch anything in there. And that looks like that's down pretty good. Oops. I'm trying to, I don't want to mess up that antenna. Just want to kind of get it out of the way. There we go. Alright, so that is how that's going to be. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to, we're not going to screw anything down yet. Well, we can go ahead and do that now. We can do this. Yeah, because everything's going to be on the bottom. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put the camera on, and then put the screws on. And what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that this is kind of like that. So it's kind of protecting the antenna so it's facing the back, like so. So let's plug this sucker in. I'm going to plug it right to this little connector right here. And it should only go in one way. It goes in that way. Oh, shoot. There it is. I plugged it in. Okay, let's plug it in. And then what we're going to do is, like I said, I want the antenna to kind of face the back. Like 
like so. And then what we do is get our little screws. We'll just drop them in the little holes here. And this is not the final version, so when this comes out, I believe the release date is maybe sometime in December. I believe, unless they have some, um, what's it call it, uh, issues or something, they may get pushed out. But um, this canopy will be a totally different looking canopy than what you guys will get. Let me just get my screwdriver so then I can just do this. These screws are so tiny, it's hard for me to even like hold them. All right, got it all screwed together after that. And yeah, so it's all screwed together. Now we're gonna go ahead and do is put the motors on. And like I said, this is gonna be, this is the front, this is the back. We know that because we have the board mounted, the USB in the back and also the power plug. So how do you mount these motors? Well. These are the gold motors, the newbie drone gold motors, and these right here, with the black and white wires are gonna be counterclockwise motors. And then these red and blue wire with the little green on the bottom is gonna be your clockwise motors. So if you remember how Betaflight is set up, this one, motors one and motor four are clockwise, and motors three and motor two are counterclockwise. So we're going to go ahead and put those motors according to that. So these are the clockwise ones. So we're going to go ahead and just route the little plug down in there. And then we're going to push these down a little bit into the little socket here. I'll push that in there. And this might be a little hard at first to pop it in there. Just got to do a little wiggle. And then usually what I do is I take a prop. So these are going to be the reverse props. So we're going to take the reverse prop. And we're going to pop on top. And that's what we're going to use to push it down. Like so. That pushed it down with the prop on. And just make sure you don't catch the back of the motor or anything like that. And that's how you do that. And then what you do, you just take it and you route it to the according plug on here. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to make sure that the pins are the right way. And we're going to plug that sucker right in there. Like so. Plug that in. And then we're going to do the same thing on the counterclockwise ones. We're going to do the same thing. Route that in there. So the plug will pop out. So the plug will pop out like that. We're going to kind of guide it in there at first. Kind of give it a little wiggle, start it, start it on there. And then I'm going to take another prop. But this time we're going to have to use the reverse props. We're going to use the not reverse prop. And we're gonna pop that on there, like so. Let's make sure it's going on straight. And then there you go, see? Easy peasy. And then make sure the pins are lined up. And then push the motor on. And then once we get all the motors on, I'm not going to do them all to save some time. These are little rubber bands, the little clear rubber bands it came with. Take these and just take it on the bottom, like so. And you wrap it around there, and it pretty much tightens up the motor, like so. Like done. 
And then same thing on the other one. Believe it or not, it looks like some of these... Huh? No, maybe not. I thought maybe some of these wires were a different length. Because these, these ones are longer than these ones, apparently. And they're magnets, so they connect, they attract everything. But, let me go ahead and build it, and then you can see what the final result looks like. Alright, so it's all together. And that's pretty much what it looks like after it's all completed. This is the bottom. And yeah, so you just put your battery in there, go, we all, you gotta set it up on beta flight first, get your arming switches, kind of just like everything else, like all my other setup videos. Um, only thing a bit difference with newbie drone is that a lot of the stuff is already pre-configured. So you just kind of follow my plug and fly or bind and fly setup video, which I already have, and I'll link that below to setting it up. Um, but like, remember this is using brush motors, so we're not using D shot or anything like that crazy. Um, yeah, so that's it, and um, I'm not going to do a flight video with it just yet because I need to do, um, just kind of check it out and give Newbie Drone my thoughts on it and go from there. So you'll probably see this in a future video though, definitely, but I appreciate you guys watching, and um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the video. Peace.